with Rock and Simon Boutique. I'm here with Shakia Danielle with On The Rise. Hi everyone, and I'm here with Erica Pratt today at Rock Consignment Boutique. Erica, how are you? I am well, Shakia, and you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, so tell us about yourself, and tell us about this beautiful boutique that we're in today. Well, um, what can I say? I always loved fashion. Mm -hmm. I always was the person who would always suggest like different styles to my mm -hmm. friends, and um, happy to shop for them. Mm -hmm. I found it as a hobby and collected quite a number of things throughout the years. Okay. So when the time came for me to um, venture off into something on my own, mm -hmm. it was only fitting um, that I did. Mm -hmm. um, started with a consignment boutique. What is a consignment boutique? Because I remember when I first saw it, I was just a tad bit confused. So tell us what is a consignment boutique and how that concept works here. Well, a consignment boutique is pretty much a boutique mm -hmm. and I'm selling pre-owned items as mm -hmm. opposed to selling brand new. And I'm selling on behalf of people. Mm -hmm. So this is an establishment where someone can come in, I can assess what they have, suggest a price and sell it on their behalf. Okay, so let's just say I have something that I that I bought, right. um, a lovely dress, a lovely pantsuit, whatever it may be, and um, I come in and I say, you know what, I think I've I've gotten my share of wear right. of this outfit, and I would like to um, sell it to someone who may be in need. I would come to you and I say, you know what, Erica, this is my outfit, this is my suit, this is my dress and you would kind of like give it an, an appraisal, so to speak, yes. of how much it is valued, how much it is worth. And then from there, what happens? Correct, so that's pretty much mm -hmm. what I do. And believe it or not, because we are um, a society that shops a lot online as well, some mm -hmm. of the items are even brand new. Mm. A lot of people, they may order online and the size... It doesn't fit It properly. doesn't fit, so what do you do with mm -hmm. the item? It doesn't fit, or maybe they thought they would have liked the style, and mm -hmm. it doesn't complement them. Mm -hmm. It can be an item that's gently used as mm -hmm. well, or something that's um, really a designer piece that mm -hmm. really can stand the test of time. Mm -hmm. So what I would do then is thoroughly look it over, because mm -hmm. I like to have immaculate pieces, mm -hmm. and then um, assess the price based on a fair market value but also keeping in mind that it is pre-owned and leaving the prices considerably lower compared to a retail price. Okay, do, do I, as the person that brought in the piece, do I make any money off of the sale? Because you know, that's, that's the right. first question people right. are gonna ask. So I'm just asking for, I'm asking for y'all, I'm asking, right. um, would, do I make any profit off of the sale if I bring something in? You would actually. Mm -hmm. How it would work is the price that we that I would suggest and that you're fine with. Mm -hmm. I would go ahead and draw up a contract, which is okay. good for three months. And once your item sells, the following month you would be able to get 50% of the selling mm -hmm. price. Okay, how, how has this concept caught on since introducing? Because I, I think, I think if I'm, I, and I stand to be corrected, that this is the first of its kind um, that I've seen over here. So how has this concept caught on? Right. Um, actually, I thought myself when I first mm -hmm. went into this line of business that it was the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. um, but lo and behold, there was actually a consignment store some years ago mm -hmm. on Shirley Street, Okay. apparently, and that did fairly well, and the owner um, retired and moved away. Uh, but in addition to that, I do believe some of the practices are done, but not on a maybe a business scale. Mm -hmm within mm -hmm. our society or is not as known. Mm -hmm. But I would say it has caught on. You have a lot mm -hmm. of people who were really excited, like, mm -hmm. yes, finally mm -hmm. it's needed. So you have that. You okay. have persons like yourself who may not know what it is. And that's my job. I'm here to educate and um, mm -hmm. let everyone know what services we offer here. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, there are persons who may not care for it per se, mm -hmm. but I feel as though I do have two customers. I have mm -hmm. the ones that are actually consigning because they may just have too much stuff mm -hmm. or have something that they don't need. Mm -hmm. And then I also have the persons who are really into it and want to purchase. 
And then mm -hmm. also a third, which will be both, someone who would want to mm -hmm. consign their items as well as purchase them. So mm -hmm. it's the best of every world, pretty much. You cater to um, men and women and kids, or just women? Like, how, how, what demographic do you cater to? When I first um, opened, it was actually men, women, and children okay. I targeted. Um, my niece initially mm -hmm. was coming on board with me, and she was going to take care of the children aspect mm -hmm. of it, but she ended up not um, participating in that part of it. Mm -hmm. And I found the children to be a little slower, so I just mm -hmm. held off on that for a bit. Right. Um, the men, it's styling only. I had some men pieces, but I'd prefer to like get mm -hmm. um, sales specific, purchased specifically for men. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but definitely we have a full range. The ladies love to shop. Let me say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let okay. me say that. I have female clients. I'll be like, do you want to see any of the men or children? No, I want to see for me. Okay. So I'm fine with that and it's going very well. How long have you been open so far? Um, the 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 grand opening was July twenty first, two thousand eighteen. Coming up on your first year, very I am, soon. Yes. How, what advice would you give persons who are, you know, I guess, either contemplating that move or already made that move, and they're they're, you know, I think it's been about what six months or so that have passed for you, um, mm -hmm. roughly. Um, what advice would you give persons who have made that move and and just want to be successful? Right, so entrepreneurship, at the end of the day, it varies, but there are still some components that um, we cannot run away from, which is planning. So make mm -hmm. certain that you plan and know exactly what area you're going into. In addition to planning, make certain that it's a market that is one that you're going to benefit from mm -hmm. because this is going to be a livelihood especially if you're doing it solely. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, I would just say be true to yourself. Whatever you do, put your stamp on it and enjoy it because this is what you're going to be doing and you want to leave your mark. Um, mm -hmm. Everything I, else will fall into place. I think I just want to back up on point number two that you just made and you said um, research your market. Right. How did you go about doing the market research for an industry like this? Because, you know, we can do market research right. and use different methods. Um, market research could be talking to persons in the industry. Right. It could be talking to our friends, getting feedback, getting their opinion. Um, um, talking to persons that we trust would give us the honesty that we need. Um, it could be um, literally going into the stores of persons that offer the same type of clothing that you offer. Well, probably not consignment, but that sell clothing around the country. Right. You know, so how, how did you do your market research? How did you go about doing that? To be honest, I knew that I wanted to do something in terms of either retail or mm -hmm. maybe somewhat food and beverage along the lines okay. of like a lounge somewhat. So retail was always it, in your it view? It was in my view, but I didn't know exactly what aspect because it mm -hmm. is fairly saturated, the mm -hmm. market in Nassau. That's what I'm thinking, like this would be so scary because right. It is, you know, how much clothing stores do we have? Precisely. Is this something that I want to jump into? And even if I do, do I want to make this my first venture? You right. know, not venture number two or three. This is my very first venture in a saturated market. So anyway, sorry to, sorry no, to interrupt you. Go no, no, I appreciate you putting in that point there. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's all about just being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, once you are behind your brand mm -hmm. and you create your brand, a lot of people just come for you. Mm -hmm. So that's very, very important. And then I also believe, like if you're familiar with the law of attraction, mm -hmm. automatically I stumbled upon it online. I was just researching 10 businesses mm -hmm. that required little capital mm -hmm. and easy to start up. And it spoke to me. It spoke to me and everything mm -hmm. else just fell into place right from there. So yes, sometimes yes. things are just staring in your face mm -hmm. and you will know. And you always had the confidence knowing that I can do this on my own. Like this is okay, I can do this. You never had any any reservations that maybe not now, maybe two years from now, but maybe not now. Right. Well, um, the situation I was in, I was in corporate mm -hmm. and I left my job 
and it was kind of abrupt, so mm -hmm. I needed, <laughs> I did not have a choice. <laughs> I needed the coins to come in. Okay. So it was about like more in terms of what to do. Right. But I knew I needed to do something. And you went in full on beast mode. Full, full on, I had a lot of doubts. Um, my fiance was like, are you sure, mm -hmm. you know? He really wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know anything about retail. I was like, yes, this is going to work. And yes. six months in, you're yes, making it happen. I am. How do how does it feel to you when your clients are satisfied with their their purchases? The client that walks in the door looking for a piece, how does that make you feel when you're able to make them feel confident, make them feel pleased in the way that they look, their parents, and then they walk out feeling happy, you know, right. and I'm going to come back. How does that make you feel as the owner? It makes me feel like, can I go to the event? <laughs> like, I don't really want it to end, uh -huh. but it really, really makes me feel happy as if I really help someone. And yeah, it's a really good feeling. And on the flip side of that, for the person that brings in the clothing, the, 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 the order that went left, you know, yes. it just didn't work for their body type or the color was just off, how does that make you feel knowing that you were able to help them? Well, um, the ones that I am able to help, these mm -hmm. are the persons that are consigning. Mm -hmm. And they're still looking in terms of repurchasing as well, or you just meant? No, oh. I mean the ones that bring in the clothing. Right. right. So if I bring in a, a pantsuit or right. a dress, and I'm like, you know what? I think I just want to put this up for a consignment, see if you can get, get anyone to purchase it. Yes. Um, when that sale is made, when that, when that purchase is made from the customer, and you're able to please the person that bought it in, right. how does that make you feel? Again, it makes me feel as though everyone wins. Mm -hmm. because that item may have just been in their closet for who knows how long or mm -hmm. may have been given away to someone who they don't know what they would do with it. Right. But they're able to maybe even repurchase something else that they would love. Now, I must ask, um, because you can tell this is your gift. Um, this is your niche. You say you always loved retail. You always loved fashion. Yes. You saw yourself in it from a very young age. I must ask, what you did in the corporate world, was it um, anything related to what you're doing now? I was a customer service manager, actually. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you always dealt with persons. Like This comes naturally for you. It, well, it was a lot of training, mm -hmm. but um, I had all of the basics down pat. Okay. in addition to years of training and um, exposure and everything else. Where do you see yourself, um, in, this is six months in, yes. um, roughly six months in, where do you see yourself in the next year or in the next two years? Where do you see you t yourself taking this business and, and just um, blazing the trails with it? Well, within the next year, for sure, I would definitely like to put my stamp um, on the entire, entire island because there are a lot of people who mm -hmm. still isn't aware of this business and mm -hmm. that I'm here. So let me, let me just stop you right there. I wasn't aware of it. Right. I wasn't aware of it and I came across, across the business on Instagram and let me tell you yes. something. <laughs> the way you put pieces together, the shoes, the, the bottoms, the tops, the accessories, I could not help but yes. to inquire. So oh, I just want to encourage you and say you're doing a really good job from just you. the pictures alone. Thank and you. then as I, I continue to scroll because it, I, it just grabbed my interest, there are a lot of persons that um, we are all familiar with that purchase from your boutique, that endorse your boutique, and yes. they look really good wearing your clothes. So I just want to encourage you to Thank say you're you. doing a really, really good job. Now, go back to telling us where you see yourself in the next sure. year. Sure, so I would like to um, reach out to mm -hmm. the the entire Bahamas. Well, mm -hmm. let's start it, starting with Nassau. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to have billboards and more mm -hmm. marketing done. And definitely I would like to have maybe another location mm -hmm. on another part of the island. Okay. And within two years, for sure, mm -hmm. if not two to three other islands, mm -hmm. at least one other island to start. Excellent, excellent. So everyone can mm -hmm. benefit. 
everyone can benefit. Yes. Persons on the family exactly. islands, persons living here. Precisely. Um, you know, and this will be a wonderful destination store because everybody, and you know what, what I really like about the internet, you get to just lay everything out yes. and keep the excitement going. And yes. like I said, you're doing a really good job Thank you. with that. And everybody, there you have it, Erica Pratt from Rack Consignment Boutique, and she is blazing the trail in the clothing yeah. and the retail and the consignment industry. Thank you. Thank you, Shakia. <laughs>